The Fountain, Day 140, Changing of the Guard. Where is the Lord right now? How could the wicked be ruling and the righteous be called evil? The Bible makes it very clear that in the last days they will call good evil and evil good. It also talks about wars and rumors of wars, all things that we are currently experiencing. It should be clear to every believer that the current rule of the land isn't godly, yet somehow many seem to be falling for it. Jesus traveled through all the towns and villages of that area, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news of the kingdom, and he healed every kind of disease and illness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were confused and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. He said to his disciples, the harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into his fields, Matthew 9, verses 35 through 38. Now is the time to dive deeper into God's word, be steeped in his presence, share the full gospel of truth. This is the harvest season. I certainly don't want to be found lounging in the shade when the sun of the harvest is shining bright. I feel myself in a constant state of urgency. It's deep within my spirit. An urge to make the most of my time doing things that are real. To walk away from every worthless task and focus in on what is eternal. The Lord's hand is on America. He established our nation for advancing of his kingdom on earth. Whether people want to admit it or not, it benefits all godly in every nation when America is strong. America, one nation under God. This is where the Lord led me this morning. The scepter of the wicked will not remain over the land allotted to the righteous, for then the righteous might use their hands to do evil. Psalm 125 verse 3. I believe the time of the wicked ruler will be cut short and the transfer to the righteous is imminent. The Lord is calling on his people to rise up in prayer, to agree with his spirit, to enter into a deeper walk with him and learn to hear and obey his voice. All of the things being done to sabotage and squeeze the American people are just serving to strengthen our resolve. One thing I know about the American people is that we are an industrious people. We are not only survivors, but thrivers. We adjust, adapt, and are not easily defeated. We are wise, we are stable, we see. God is stirring up within us. Don't fight it, turn toward it. Is he calling you off the beaten path? Follow. Is he directing you to create something or start a new business? Don't fear, start it. Is he pulling you into discipleship or evangelism? Don't doubt, start walking it out. This is the hour of stirring. This is the hour to see and hear the one, the voice that knows all things. Ignore the screeching of the earth and tune your ear toward heaven and embark. Embark on the journey of your harvest. This is the season when we the people will rise.